Hello, my friend. Thank you for watching. I'm Michael, and tonight I'm headed out to photograph some red-winged blackbirds. They're one of those species that I have a tendency to overlook or not really pay any attention to because they're so common. But I've come to realize that they're actually really pretty birds, and they're a lot of fun to photograph. And I found a nice spot here uh, where a bunch of them hang out. Uh, that provides me with some nice perches and some nice backgrounds and you know some opportunities to do some different diffused foregrounds and stuff like that so uh yeah join me on my little adventure here and we'll see how it pans out <laughs> One of the reasons why I like this spot is because of all these uh, yellow flowers on the bushes here. I actually don't know what they're called, have to admit that, but uh, they're lovely and they're spread out nicely. So once you have, for example, a, a blackbird perched on top of it, you get some really nice colors, especially combined with the dark backgrounds here. Blackbird is sitting on the perfect perch right now, it's just looking so beautiful with all the colors around it. Oh, very happy right now. <laughs> I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Personally, I find their poses a lot more interesting if I can capture them with their beak open mid song. But that can be quite ca challenging and that's what I'm trying to do right now because they have a, a wide variety of, of songs and noises they make and they have these very short little beeps almost and they're very hard to capture because they're so quick. But then they once in a while do this longer, you know, more effortful song and uh, that's what I look out for because you can kind of see them warming up for it. You know, they kind of like they kind of get into position and, you know, kind of like the, uh, the chest expands a little bit and then they go, Brah, they do it. And you know, that's <laughs> what I'm looking for. And that's when I get ready, because as soon as they do that, I'm ready to shoot so I can get some nice poses from them. Females aren't as cool looking, they're a little bit more boring uh, to look at, but man, they are entertaining, they're really fun. Uh, they're all over the place, you know, constantly moving, constant action, and uh, they got some pretty mad skills when it comes to doing splits. Fandam ain't got nothing on these birds. While the blackbirds themselves are quite easy to approach and photograph, getting the exposure right can be pretty challenging because every time I turn a new direction here, I need basically uh, new settings and the light is changing a lot also. So I, in situations like these, I'm really trying to stay on top of my exposure all the time. And I spend a lot of time checking on the back of the camera to see if everything is the way I want it to be and adjusting my, my shutter speeds and uh, ISO and you know exposure compensation and, and stuff like that. So that'll be one of my tips in situations like these because you don't want to come home with files that are completely overexposed or underexposed for that matter. was such a fun session. Uh, the blackbirds were really, really active tonight. They were flying around, doing all kinds of stunts for me, and I think I, I came away with some good shots. I'm looking forward to going through with them when I get back to the computer. But I, I, just before we round off, I want to leave you with one thing. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I've been ignoring red-winged blackbirds for the longest time because they're so common, so I didn't really consider that they could be interesting to photograph. And 
it's been so rewarding actually sitting down and spending some time with them. And I've, I've had that experience with a lot of different species that are very abundant here. You know, for example, um, stellars, jays, or even crows for that matter. A lot of these birds that we ignore, you know, and that we have right in our, <laughs> in our front yard can actually be really, really cool subjects. And you can end up having some surprisingly rewarding uh, sessions with them. So pay more attention to the common birds around you. You might get some really good surprises. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please follow my channel and maybe turn on the alerts so you know when I put up new videos. And I hope to see you in the future. Thank you, my friend.